my boys. Let me turn this shit down real quick. Loud as fuck for no reason. Alright, so today we have one of the most highly requested videos of all time. A full day of eating with Milo Bra. So, got about 8 ounces of ground beef and 100 grams of sweet potato. Look at Then we got the sweet potato all cooked up. God damn, baby. Holy fuck, the fork just fell. This is what the first meal looks like, baby. Alright, for the pre-gym meal, I'm going to have 8 ounces of 93.4, I mean 96.4 lean ground beef and a cup of white rice. For show. I like to, forgot to say I'm gonna add egg whites. What the fuck? Yeah, why is this shit chunk? Am I tweaking? Might be tweaking. I know it doesn't look appetizing, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Shit, all right, you guys can see me. All righty, boys, time to head to the fucking gym for this leg day. I actually haven't filmed a leg day since like the fucking one of the first videos I ever posted. So yeah, let's get into that shit. I'm probably gonna do Smith machine squats followed by um, RDLs or some type of hamstring exercise and then maybe um, leg press and then um, what else? Probably leg extensions. And then um, hip abductors, and then that'll probably be it. So yeah, let's get into it. So you gotta be a little, little mental, I think, to do what I did. I, I, I don't want to like sound crazy, but you have to be a little fucked up. The fucking mindset of like getting up every day and pushing yourself. And you're eating 12 to 16 ounces of meat and you know 100 to 150 grams of carbs every meal and you're doing that seven times and you do it day in day out you got to have a very simple mindset you know you can't be social you can't be out doing a lot of other activities so you put on the blinders and you have tunnel vision on what that ultimate goal is i was always on track with everything i mean I, everything was structured i lived in a fucking box in order to be the best meaning i had no outside people would call me with their problems i hang up on like the phones were, were off don't bother me with negative shit and i just went at it like that's all i cared about like, that was what my life was like there was it was like go full fucking throttle every day that discipline was there i always tell everyone it wasn't about the body it was about the mind at first but i trained my ass off for me i just love to train like that's that's what separated me from like most guys there was times where i almost passed out training i'm lunging with you know 225 on my back in the parking lot and i remember just like okay no one else is doing this so i'm gonna do it and that was my mindset that was how i like mind fucked everybody else so i used to train in the middle of the night because no one else was doing it and so people were like man is that the secret is that what jay has to do is that what we have to do and i did it almost to kind of like play mind games with the other guys only the crazy people come out this time. It's cardio time. But I was also a beast. I was known as a, a so-called mass monster. I was also stubborn as hell, right? I, mean, I, I just, I was told I couldn't do this, I couldn't do that. I was told I wouldn't be a good pro. I was told I'd never turn pro, never win the Olympia, never win it more than once. After I lost it, they said that I'd come back and win it again. So I think a lot of that's a little ego too. I mean, you have to have a little ego to be able to do what I do and be great at it. You gotta do what's your passion, otherwise you're never gonna succeed at it, you're never gonna stay with it, you're never gonna commit to it, and you're never gonna give your full ab ab ability towards that goal. I'll, I'll say this without arrogance. Jake Cutler's the greatest bodybuilder of all time. I never had a lot of self-doubt. You know, people look at his arrogance and, and I'm just so confident that maybe sometimes I come off as that, but um, I've been knocked out enough times and, and came back from it that I just I just never gave up and I always believed in myself. And I mean, I was so disciplined, man. There was no bodybuilder on this fucking planet that was more disciplined than I was at that time. 
I felt like a fucking machine, man. I everything just clicked. Like I told you, I could do anything. I went in the gym and I trained with light weights. I trained with heavy weights. It didn't matter what I did. Everything just clicks. Ronnie's been here winning the show for the past uh, how many years, Ronnie? Six. Six years. But this is my town, my home, my place. Uh, it takes a lot of time, but I'm dedicated and. I was just so young and just, um, I was so, you know, naive. I really didn't know much about anything. I really didn't know how to pose. I really didn't know anything, but I had the physique. I had the structure. And once I learned how to eat um, and learned how to, you know, train properly, and, you know, I wanted to be, I wanted to be the best. My dad just, you know, my dad was a pusher, man. I hated my dad a lot of times early in my life because he would just make me work and he taught me to be a machine, you know? And it really gave me the, the work ethic to be who I am as a bodybuilder and, you know, to be relentless and, and had to learn to value working hard to achieve certain things. And and I knew um, going into bodybuilding, it wasn't going to be easy. He's like, I'm telling you, you can beat Ronnie Coleman. Jay, I'm telling you, you're going to beat this guy. I'm telling you, Jay, you're going to beat this guy. So in the lineup, when I was standing next to Ronnie, people are like, holy shit, Jay's beating Ronnie Coleman from the front. It's the first time in my career that I actually knew, shit, I'm going to win the Mr. Olympia contest. I knew myself I would win it. Um, and I knew in 2006, I knew 100% I was going to win the Mr. Olympia in 2006. I had no doubt in my mind. But every year I watched Ronnie stand next to me and before he fell on the ground and he cried, he, he was scared. He was scared. You'll see Ronnie Coleman mouthing some things to me and John, Ronnie Coleman said, well, you beat me. He said, you won. And I, I didn't know what to say. I felt terrible. Oh! 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 That losing and winning was the best thing that ever happened to me in my life because the fans that they hated Jay Cutler now loved him again. And that's what I love most about my career is that my body did the talking and my movement did the talking. I walked out on stage that night and you remember that was for sure the greatest, uh, the greatest moment of my life, um, winning the Mr. Olympia. When I came out, I just, just came out there, I did that fucking quad stomp and it's like the place went fucking crazy man Maybe you just need to be alone for a while Till you feel yourself again Every galaxy I have traveled, all you species are the same You all think you're the center of the universe
chosen one. It was said that you would destroy this sin, not join them. Bring balance to the force, not leave it in darkness. Brother Anakin.
just got back home. Um, I am whipping up the same fucking meal, but this time I have 12 ounces of ground beef and 100 grams of sweet potato. So yeah, let's get into this shit. Gotta cook it before it burns. Yeah. Alrighty, meal four. 12 ounces of ground beef and a cup of white rice. Oh yeah, bro, if you guys aren't using this type of sauce, bro, you're tweaking. Like, this shit is a necessity to go on everything. Fuck you doing, bro? Get your ass on. Alright, this too. Need some of this. We have some chicken. Alrighty, first meal of the day. Probably the last meal of my day. I'll probably have one more snack before I go to sleep or some shit, but yeah. And then this is a uh, fourth cup of rice. Honestly, I'd rather eat clean and not eat like shit just because I feel better every day. Beef. Barbecue sauce and rice should bust down. Mm. All right, boys. <clears throat> Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And yeah, and I'll probably be lean within a, within a week. Hold on.